All right, we got the grafter bucket, everybody. Didn't uh, really take much video before I got to use it for a little bit. As you can see, it's got some scratches on it. It's, uh, I think I put about, I don't know, three hours on it, cleaning up some stuff for the landowner I'm on. Oh, excuse me, but huge shout out to AMI for putting this all together. Pretty unique concept. Um, so I've just got this in yesterday. Took a little bit to get everything figured out just because I have such a complex hydraulic system on it. As you can see, we got so many different hoses. Um, so it took me a little while to get the flow figured out and everything set up the way it should be. But uh, yeah, this bucket is bad to the bone. It is nice to have a thumb again. So I have a very unique situation where with the felling head, um, I, I can't have a thumb on the machine. It's just in the way and it's extra weight that I don't need. So with this setup, it is just simply two quick connect hoses, quick coupler comes off, bam, don't even gotta do anything. Could be, uh, got the, actually got the brush mower in the back of the trailer there. So you could be fecon mowing or doing bucket work within uh, pretty much a matter of a few minutes here. Felling head sitting over there, a little bit more work to put on. So I didn't get any video of me doing anything yet out of respect for the landowner. Um, I was working around his house, so I didn't want to film around there. And I kind of wanted to get used to this thing at first because it's a little bit different. Um, maybe I got to figure out something with these hoses. I kind of once in a while they get in the way and I, when you open the thumb up see that plate there that will hit the stick so you have to be careful with the way you put it but yeah I'm excited definitely gonna put up some videos of this soon um, pretty much so far I would basically say that my review on this is it's uh, definitely doing what I wanted to it's I would say it probably doesn't quite have the normal gripping strength as a standard thumb just because normally you can use your bucket cylinder up against your thumb with this obviously it all is in one so you lose a little bit on that but it, it definitely works and it's like I said it's so nice to have the, the option to have a thumb again I mean obviously I had a bucket before but the thumb is just there's I do a lot of uh, like grubbing off brush and cleaning stuff up and the thumb is just I just need the thumb I love the Ford style tong thumb this is going to be just a quick little video, not going to really show much about it. I'm about to take it off, do some fecon mowing. So we will definitely be doing something in the next week or so when I have some time. I'm going to go out in the woods, maybe like closing out trails or doing what. Um, I would say I, pr I did do a little bit of digging with this this morning. Um, you can definitely dig with it. You have to be careful. So when the thumbs all the way up, you got to watch the stick, but you can dig with it. I would not want to do dirt work with it, but if you had to you know dig a little bit it definitely works um, it is a little bit weird for me not having like a plate in here because normally you can just grab a mouthful of stuff so it's a, good, it's a little bit of a learning curve to get this thing figured out but yeah overall I think it's freaking awesome uh, I put, would like to point out the quality of this bucket it is absolutely made out of awesome steel it's uh, the hard ox in that strengths if I'm saying that right um, so it's definitely super good quality like it's all got awesome wear plates it is it's beefy it's not some cheap bucket that is gonna wear out like this is something that I am very happy about and I'm definitely gonna hang on to this thing for the rest of my life I don't ever plan on getting rid of it so yeah sweet I feel bad scrape already scratching the paint off of it but you know what it's meant to dig dirt meant to move rocks and brush and crap so the only can look pretty for a little bit did get a few pictures when it was brand new i will throw those in the beginning of the video or at the end of the video so you can kind of see what it looked like as soon as i got it but it's been a very dusty day willie is unloading some firewood on the new job gonna go do some brush mowing around this guy's pond who is actually Shout out to this landowner. He is a subscriber of mine. So it's pretty cool to work for somebody that gets to, you know, watch my videos. But 
think it's about time to go put that mower head on and get after it. But I just wanted to do a little video. I know I've talked about this grafter bucket quite a bit and I've been anxiously waiting for it. So very cool. Again, thank you, Barry Equipment. All those guys up there, top notch. Gotta say, I had a little issue with uh, hooking this thing up and getting it running right, but of course, on the phone with them, Randy, the head mechanic, instantly had it figured out, and it was just some minor stupid things that had to be adjusted. So again, thanks to them. Thanks to AMI for making this awesome bucket. Looking forward to maybe doing some more stuff with them in the future. Kind of in the market for a uh, tilt grading bucket. So you guys up at AMI, you watch this video, maybe we'll get to talk about doing something with a tilt bucket. I'm very interested, so... Thanks everybody for watching and uh, maybe next week we're going to have our first actual video of this moving some stuff and I'll talk a little bit while I run it and kind of just show how everything works and all that good stuff. So thanks for watching everybody and we will catch you soon.